This is Lee Professor Q at your service. Listen, let me tell you something. I try my best to show folk how to use AI effectively. But sometimes it's not just about using AI. It's about learning to guide it in a what I call smarter ways. Full stop. In this video, we will talk about and demo MetaProp. You guys know what time it is. It's time for instruction. If prompting is the art of asking good questions, meta prompting is asking how to ask the best questions possible. Listen, if we are going to be running out here in these AI streets, we need to get the best results from AI. And once you learn it, your productivity, creativity, and decision making will never be the same. Stop playing with those simple Google search prompts. Let's go in. First, what is a meta prompt? Before I explain, let's give Meta some context. All of you have watched my previous content. Who you guys know that I'm a big time DC comic, DC animation, DCEU, and DCU comic book, TV show, and movie buff. A term called metahuman is used constantly in everything DC. It represents a human or human-like being with extraordinary, often paranormal abilities or powers. Heroes like Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Aquaman, or even Icon, just to name a few, are considered meta-humans. Now, meta prompts instruct the AI on how to think before it speaks. Think of a normal prompt asking a barber to give me a haircut. A meta prompt is acting, asking the barber, what's the best haircut you can provide for me to feel energized, impress clients, and has a little salt and pepper in the head and beard. See the difference? You're not just asking for an answer. You're shaping the logic behind how the answer is formed. Meta prompts instruct the AI on how to think before it speaks. Why do meta prompts matter? Have you ever had an argument with your significant other and she, or for some of you, he comes at you and says, you should know this. You clap back with a, how should I know? I ain't no mind reader. The same applies to AI models. AI models like ChatGPT, Claude, Copilot, Perplexity, and Gemini aren't mind readers. The response depends entirely on how clearly you define the task. Meta prompts unlock the following. They give sharper insights by guiding the model's reasoning steps. They're more relevant by tailoring output to context. They provide creative solutions by giving freedom within constraints. And finally, the repeatable quality by turning good prompting into a systematic skill set. Basically, family, um, they make you not just a user, but a designer for your AI models thinking process. Next, we have how to write a meta prompt. Let's change a basic prompt like I'm a Gen Z college graduate. How do I find a job into a meta prompt? Let's go ahead and take a look at our meta prompt and its five part formula. First, we deal with the role. Who do we want to be? The second part is the task. 
What do we want the AI to do? The third part of the formula is identifying the context. Who are you? What's the situation? What does your output need to reflect? The fourth part is identifying the constraints, word count, tone, do's and don'ts, etc. And then the fifth part is identifying the style. Should it be witty, formal, visual, or structured? Now, let's go ahead and start out with a prompt before the five-point formula is implemented. I'm a Gen Z college graduate. How do I find a job? Let's start out with a role. I'm a recent Gen Z college graduate holding a degree in business management. Next, we have our task. I am seeking an information technology job in the public or private sector. Next, we have a context. I'm a 22 year old biracial female who has had held several business internships and I need job options and instructions on how to pursue these job opportunities. Next, we have our constraints. List job options in bullets and provide instructions and sub bullets for each option. Then finally, we have our style. Present the information in a project format. So basically, this is what our meta prompt looks like after the five point formula is implemented and finalized. Basically, we took all those five points and put them together in one paragraph. This is what a meta prompt looks like. Now that we have our meta prompt set up, let's take a look at these meta prompts in action, real time. All right, everyone, let's take a look at our meta prompt in action. Uh, we will be using the Copilot application for this video. If you watch my previous content, Copilot is my preferred AI companion. And for all you chat GPT fans, don't trip. Copilot does leverage open AI GPT models, including GPT 4.0. Therefore, you will get similar results if you use chat GPT. Now, if you take a look at our window prompt right here, we have an option of a quick response, think deeper or deep research. What we're going to do is we're going to go with the think deeper. And here's why. Uh, think deeper uh, enhances the responses to more complex queries by providing more thoughtful and nuanced answers. This is what we want to use. Therefore, let's go ahead and put in our prompt, our basic prompt first. So we're going to go ahead and put in I'm a Gen Z college graduate. How do I find a job? I'll go ahead and hit. Okay, as you can see, it starts us out with how to find a job as a Gen Z college graduate, very generic. And it does give us a pretty good foundation right here. So it tells us how to develop a foundation for looking, to looking for a job. It tells us how to leverage school and career services at an alumni and gives us pull points for that. It shows us the Explore Gen Z Friendly Job Boards, very generic, and it breaks it down what we need to do there. It gives us the fourth option phase of gain early experience and stay flexible. Um, number five is the standout applications and interviews and gives us instructions there. Uh, number six, it says refrain your goals and network uh, proactively. It gives you uh, uh, bullet points on how to do that. Uh, we have our other option of uh, keeping learning and keep learning, experimenting. Basically, it breaks down exactly what you need to do there. So this is what a general basic prompt gives you. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at a meta prompt and see what type of results we get there. Let's see right here. This is our meta prompt that we just early, we developed earlier. Let's go ahead and hit in it. Let's submit the request. Okay, now look at this. The output is definitely more detailed, definitely more nuanced, and here's why. It does narrow down to information technology positions and uh, pursuing strategies. It gives us the particular opportunity, which we asked. It breaks down everything that we need to do for that particular opportunity. Uh, it gives us an option for a system analyst uh, slash techni uh, technical support consultant. 
It breaks down what we need to do to get these type of jobs. It breaks down an entry level data analyst and business analyst, and it, it breaks down the bullet points what we need to do for this particular job. Uh, you know, IT support specialist, service technician, kind of tells us exactly what we need to do on these areas. Uh, junior IT project coordinator. Uh, we have IT operations management tra trainee. And what each bullet point does is it gives us what we need to do to focus in and try to get these particular jobs. And basically, uh, this is in a project formal format. So uh, this is the difference between uh, what you get with a general prompt versus a meta prompt. Let's talk use cases, family. Meta prompting ain't no joke. It's a game changer for the following. You can use it for strategy generation. An example would be to uh, build a SWOT analysis for a logistics startup expanding into Africa using current market dynamics. Another use case might be executive reporting. This is where you can summarize key risk and upsides in a deal as if you're presenting to a board of directors. This will be a good use case for this type of reporting. Then finally, there are the learning new topics. Can teach me the basics of quantum computing as if I'm a smart MBA with no technical background. These are just a few of many use cases we can unleash the power of via meta prompting. My final thoughts are to stop playing and start testing out this meta prompting technique. The difference between mediocre and exceptional AI output often comes down to how you ask. Meta prompting is your leverage, the kind that turns AI from a chat bot into a true cognitive partner and AI companion. So the next time you open up your favorite uh, large language model of choice, don't just prompt, meta prompt. Until the next one, I'm out.